Welcome to Trail Talk here on LTTV. I'm Chris Ford. I'm the Director of Marketing at Lincoln Trail College. And joining me as always, Dr. Zahi Atala, the President at Lincoln Trail College. Zahi, how are you today? I was doing great until you told me that we need to cut the length of time we talk during Trail Talk. <laughs> well, yes, there, there's that. Uh, so, <laughs> there's a clock we're watching right in yeah. front of us. So we are in the Statesman Grill, and we are here for a reason today because we are going to talk about student life uh, for colleges. And Zahi, when you hear the term student life, what's the first thing that comes to your mind? Uh, a detachment from the past whereby students are here just to learn, and that's pretty much it. Yeah, when I think student life, I'm thinking like Animal House. <laughs> Uh, you know, and okay, I, John Belushi. Yeah, and, and you know, I think there are a lot of people that you know. Oh, well, student life—that—that's all the stuff that happens outside of college. It's not stuff that that the college itself has anything to do with, because we're not going to be promoting the the parties and right. all that for kids, uh, and that's where they get their student life experiences. But really, that's not the truth at all. No, it's not, and it's. Uh it's perhaps the lack of other things to do that pushes them toward uh, the partying, uh, unless it's something different. Uh, but, uh, y you know, uh, the reason why I think it's integral to how we operate is so many of us have uh, developed our campuses in terms of the architecture and the design in terms of our schedules based on the idea that the students is gonna come in just for a class or two and then zoom out. And, and in reality, the equation is rather simple. The student who spends more time on campus is more successful. It doesn't mean they're gonna need to be full-time students, but it means they're seeking more services. It means that they're finding themselves in, in this uh, institution. Therefore, they're able to be more successful. Right, we want them to feel like they are a part of the culture at Lincoln Trail College, for example. Yeah. So, you know, when, when I think about student life, um, really what I'm thinking about, not to be facetious about Animal House, but, you know, it, it is athletics, it's clubs and organizations, it's, it's dining services, which is why we're here in the Statesman Grill, it's performing arts, it's all of those types of things and more, of course, that's by no means an exhaustive list, but, it's, it's the opportunity for students to engage outside of the classroom and, and enjoy their student experience. Yes, and it's also about incorporating the learning in every element and aspect of education. And how can we separate what we do in the classroom from the larger context of the college? We can't, but we have for, for decades. Uh, so, you know, the, the, what, some of the elements that you listed are very common across the nation in community colleges. But the question becomes, how can we take them to, the, to meet the student needs when they want it, how they want it, in the format that they want it? Right. And, you know, you, you talked a little bit there about education, and mm -hmm. so many of these experiences give opportunity. You think about uh, Student Senate or Phi Theta Kappa, for example, and the first thing that comes to my mind is leadership. Uh, yep. it, it's an opportunity for a student to learn leadership. Uh, participating in athletics, the same sort of thing. Performing arts, those same sorts of things. You, you're also learning you know, that interpersonal communication, you're, you're, you know, it's sort of like you're sneaking the vegetables into that kid's meal right. so they make sure they get them, uh, you know, because nobody's gonna be as excited about participating if, well, this is a seminar all about how to make you a better leader versus, you know, here, come in and be a part of Student Senate or be a part of, you know, PBL or, or something like that. It's, yeah, it's a, th that analogy to hiding uh, the broccoli in the kid's pizza or something of that nature is, is really very apropos. And uh, in the context of actually 
thinking about that the student needs to relax in order to be a successful learner. The student needs to be able to find um, peers that will act as the cohort that supports them. And with all due respect to, to us in, in our classrooms, that's not the place where we tend to build those cohesive units. It's what comes ar around it that helps us do that. Yeah, you know, I think back to my own college experience and the, the really good friends that I made in college, I didn't have a class with them until late in my college career. It wasn't that, oh, we met in political science at 8 o'clock on Monday morning and decided now we're going to be lifelong friends. No, it was the time outside of class, and then by the time we get to junior or senior year, it was, oh, hey, this sounds like a fun class. Let's both take this. Yes. A additionally, if we think, we talked uh, a couple of weeks ago about the... Uh, the food pantry that we have. A student who's zooming in, zooming out, may or may not know that there is a pantry, may or may not realize it's significant on them possibly, but on other students. Or they may not know that, that we have tutoring, and, and that may explain why our tutoring, like many other community colleges, is, is there, but there aren't very many, many people taking it. It's, it's that surrounding yourself with others who are going to tell you, hey, I, you're having this difficulty. I, I'm not sure I can explain it to you, but let's walk over to the library and, and see whether the tutor can help us. Or, oh yeah, your kid needs diapers. Let's walk over and, and grab some from, from the pantry. Those are situations that even, even, well, on the one hand, maybe knowledge isn't available, and number two, it's, it's that family that you create and surround yourself with that's going to make you more successful a more successful student. Mm -hmm. Well, and you know, some of it, it is our responsibility too, as far as creating the kinds of, of things students need. Uh, you know, so for example, one of the things we did here on campus this week is the transfer night, where students that are are planning to transfer after they finish here at Lincoln Trail College next fall can get some information about the application process or financial aid or just college in general. Yes. Uh, you know, things like that, it's not for every student. Um, you know, we, we did not expect 100% of our students to come to that. Uh, Student Senate put on a movie night last week. Um, there have been paint nights, trivia nights, all kinds of different nights. Never is the expectation that we're going to have one event that is going to attract 100% of our students. It's, it's simply not possible. But, and, and it's about the frequency, right? It's yes. not the one and done. It's, it's it, the variety and the frequency with which we put them. Sorry, I didn't do Yeah, it. yeah. And, and, you know, so it's important, and that's just what I was going to get at, is to make sure that there are different events like that on a regular basis uh, of different types because transfer night, for example, for our career and technical students probably isn't going to mean much to them, but they may be more interested in a game night, for example, or, or, or whatever, you know. So there are a lot of different things that, that we can and should be doing, and one of the things that, that happens with community colleges in general, and, and you hear this, that you know, people don't identify as much with their community college after they leave. Because often the community college is not the terminal institution for somebody. Right. That's part of it, but part of it is making sure we're engaging those students when they're here. Uh, making sure that those opportunities for student life are available so that, you know, Lincoln Trail College or, or whatever community college they might be attending was not just a means to an end. Yeah, and you know, just I was thinking all along uh, about what you said and, and trying to put a bow on it is we, when we think community and community college, invariably we're thinking the outside community and how we can serve them, forgetting that we need to build a community within, and that's the community that we need to help 
by being that springboard for them toward a brighter future. So building that community through a variety of activities, through leadership, through good food, uh, is, is, in my opinion, critical. Absolutely, absolutely. So uh, we have been talking about student life. This is an onion that we could spend a lot of time unpeeling. The, this, in and its own right, could probably be its own series, to be oh, yeah. quite frank. Uh, yeah. But I've also put you on a clock this week. You right? have. So uh, we will certainly talk more about student life in the future. Yeah. Um, you know, certainly, as always, seek your input as well on on things that you're thinking about on student life, or frankly, topics that you would like to hear uh, as well. Or criticism of what, we, what we're thinking or saying. Mostly him, though. Mostly me. Yes. I've got uh, broad shoulders. <laughs> I can take that criticism. <laughs> uh, so uh, if you enjoy these sorts of programs, be sure and subscribe uh, to our YouTube channel, and then ring the bell for notifications. You'll get notified when we post any content here on our YouTube channel, which we affectionately call LTTV. Follow us on our various social media platforms to see what's happening here at Lincoln Trail College, and, and certainly we look forward to seeing you next time on Trail Talk. So for Dr. Zahi Atala, I'm Chris Ford. We'll see you next time on Trail Talk on LTTV.